CSGO, like most multiplayer games nowadays, is ever-changing and always evolving, so we're here to honor the 10 moments that changed CSGO. The most rocky and hardcore changes from gameplay mechanics to bans, nothing is off the table, so let's get started. My name is Brayden, and welcome to Valve Guys. Starting off with number 10, we have the op movement nerf. I honestly don't like this change. I'm hoping this was an April Fool's Day joke. When CSGO launched, scope speed with an op was three-fourths the standard op walking speed. And with this nerf in early 2015, the speed was cut to half the standard op movement speed, making sniping a lot more of a defense than an offensive tool. This made opping as a terrorist a lot less convenient, and missing a shot would pretty much now ensure that they couldn't get away in time before a CT sniper took them out in return. So this changed the balancing of the op in CSGO permanently, and this is made opping more rare and more niche and just harder to do all around. Coming in at number 9 are majors going to $1 million. In 2016, Valve announced that their investment prize pool for their majors tournaments would receive a 400% boost from $250,000 to a whopping $1 million. This effect should be pretty obvious to anyone who pays attention to the fact that that's a lot of money, and it makes CSGO more and more viable to make a living off of playing professionally, as even the group stages make more than $5,000 while the winners receive $500,000. It helps increase incentive in the face of games like Dota 2, Overwatch, Call of Duty, and even Halo 5, all of which have $1 million prize pools. In at number 8, Nukes Remake. In my opinion, these new visuals are worth a 40% drop in frame rate, especially since the Source 2 update will come out and will fix everything and will give us all 1000 FPS, blah 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 blah, Half-Life 3. Nuke has always been an extremely popular map throughout the years of Counter-Strike's existence, and in CSGO, until Valve removed it for balancing issues, it's seems like Nuke was going to be forgotten to the sands of time until Operation Wildfire introduced a remake of it. What's important about this is that suddenly the idea of going back to maps and redoing them for whatever reason suddenly became more of a possibility in CSGO. This is something we recently saw with the re-release of Inferno and hopefully we'll see other map remakes to improve CSGO. Coming in at number 7 is the M4A4 Howl ban. And for a while, one of the most popular CSGO skins was the M4A4 Howl skin and with good reason. It had a blood red hallowing wolf on the side that's just freaking awesome but unfortunately valve received a dmca takedown notice as it turns out the people who put up the skin stole the artwork from somebody else so the howl was deemed contraband and this was the first time that has ever happened to a csgo skin and artwork was taken down because of dmc takedown it put content creators on their feet and made them more cautious something that really hadn't happened in csgo's earlier days at number six is the reanimated update first let's cover the most drastic changes to the game, the reworking of the animation, and the hitboxes. At the start of CSGO, one of the things that was pretty bad was the hitboxes were bugged, namely in lagged servers and environments, especially because the animations and models tended not to reflect actual hitboxes. Thankfully, a 2015 update somewhat addressed this by updating the models and animations. They're still slightly bugged, but it shows that Valve is willing to overhaul the game's animations and models if need be. Let's just hope that they continue to do that in the future. For number 5, we have the rank shift. They took the ranks and made them a lot harder to get into. They literally raised the bar. We've covered this before in our 7 times Valve ruined CSGO video, but the short version is that Valve decided to rebalance matchmaking, which in turn caused a lot of controversy. We're not going to get into exactly what they did, but the gist of it is that they shifted the ranks to be more centered in average rankings, and instead of being clumped in DMG and LE, they were more centered average ranks. And I still hear people making excuses today because of this update saying, oh well, I used to be a much higher rank. It's really quite amusing. Coming in at number four, we have the iBuy power ban. It was recently announced that some North American players have been banned by Valve from competing in their majors and essentially their careers look like they're indefinitely ended in terms of being CSGO pros. iBuy power was a pro CSGO team and they had the smart idea to bet against themselves and throw and reap the rewards. Well, Valve caught them and bans them permanently. Just like the last two times, it's the precedent that these kind of things set, showing that Valve will place a permaban on people participating in match fixing, putting pro teams on notice. Number three, the coach ban. A few months ago, Valve decided that they would ban the communication between coaches and their players in game, and this was in effect only for offline matches, but it set the precedent for how Valve wanted to handle coaches. Coaches are still able to do IGL during warm up and timeout, but not during the match. At number two, we have the gambling site shutdown. And during the course of the gambling uh, story as it developed, 
uh, it became clear that there were people that were up to no good that maybe weren't getting the attention that they deserved. About the time gambling had reached its height, Valve ordered gambling sites to cease and desist. This shut down gambling and caused the prices of CSGO skins to drop drastically. Of course, it doesn't take much to know why this changes CSGO as gambling was one of the biggest things and such a mighty blow being dealt with CSGO gambling also puts a mighty dent in the community. And this is the first time Valve ordered CSGO gambling sites to shut down. It's a major caution sign for the CSGO community and more caution is definitely a big change for a community. Before we jump into number one, we'd like to give a huge thanks to our sponsor, CSGO Roll. On CSGO Roll, you can play fun games like Crash, Dice, and Roulette. You can win some awesome skins, and if you want to get started, use code GUIDES or in the link in the description, get 50 cents for free. Finishing off with number one, we have the Arms Deal update. That update that I was speaking about before that could change the very nature of Counter-Strike has arrived. And now we come to the big one, the Arms Deal update. This 2013 update introduced skins and the skins and economy, and that's all I really need to say. Skins have been so fundamental in CSGO ever since then that it's hard to imagine the game without them. And that's why gambling is such a controversy in the first place. So it automatically gets the number one spot, sheerly for how much it changed the entire course of the game. Well guys, that just about does it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this as they happen, make sure to subscribe. My name is Brayden, and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.